Hello friends, this video on differential equation part 17 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 16. So till now we have learned how to find solution for equation which are of these types. One was dy by dx is equal to some fx into gy sum or dy by dx is, is equal to g of x by y right so these two we know this was a homogeneous differential equation and this guy we know how to form right we say dy by gy is equal to fx dx integrate fine now we will try to find uh, the solution for first order linear differential equation so any equation of this form dy by dx plus py is equal to q is first order linear differential. Please note this dy by dx plus py is equal to q. This form has to be there. For example, dy by dx plus y is equal to sin x. This is also first order linear differential equation. If I say dy by dx plus 1 by x y, so this becomes p here, this becomes q here, this is p is 1 this is q so this is also first order linear differential equation dy by dx this thing y and this whole thing is p and this is q right so these are the various examples of first order linear differential equation please note once again dy by dx plus p of y p into y is equal to q if you have equation in this form, this guy is first order linear differential equation. We will learn how to solve this kind of equation. So steps to find solve this. So if I have my equation in this form dy by dx plus p by is equal to q, my differential equation first order. Then I will write integrating factor as e to the power p dx integration. If I got this value. I'll write the solution as y into integrating factor is equal to integration of q into i f dx plus c. This will be my solution. So the catch here is to find integrating factor. I'll give you proof how we got this formula. Similarly, if I have uh, equation of this form dx by dy plus p1 x equal to q1, then again I'll find integrating factor e to the power p1 dy here. And then I'll write the solution as x into i f is equal to q and i have dy by plus c. So as told, let's see the proof of this. My first order linear differential equation will look like this. Like right here, dy by dx plus py is equal to q. Correct. So let's multiply both uh, everything with gx. That's how it is done such that we have to choose gx such that q into gx this whatever you get is nothing but derivative of y dot gx so i'll write here choose gx such that multiply q with gx you get q into gx has to be equal to derivative of y dot gx Correct. So if we are if we are able to find such gx, then let's multiply everything with gx. So what you get here is this guy gx into dy by dx plus p into y into gx, right? Is equal to q into q into gx. Correct. Now I'm, I told that my q into gx says that, that this guy is equal to this guy. Correct. So this guy I'll write as this becomes y dash gx plus y into g dash x. Correct. 
So this guy is y dash g s. This guy is y dash g s. Cancel. So what I have till now is p into y into g x is equal to y into g dash x. Y y also cancel. Correct. Or I get P as G dash X by G X. Correct. So now let's integrate both sides with respect to X. So what you get is G dash X by G X D X. You integrate this guy, right? This by this guy becomes p into dx anyway. This guy becomes log of gx. Correct? Because gx is t if you put. So this becomes dt. So dt by t log t. This guy. So I get gx is nothing but e to the power integration of p dot dx. So I got the value of gx. So once I have the value of gx because gx was a little tricky because I told that gx has to be such a way that uh, q into gx is equal to this guy, right? So this is my equation actually. So now in this equation, let me put the value of gx. So I get q into gx that is e to the power integration p dx is equal to d by dx of y into gx that is e to the power integration of p dot dx because gx is something which we have formed. So if I define y, right, so that becomes you integrate both side. So that is nothing but you get y into e to the power integration p dot dx is equal to integration of q into e to the power d p dx. The whole thing is integrated with respect to x. Correct. And that is what my answer was y into if is equal to integration of q into if and the whole thing dot dx. This was the solution I have derived plus some constant. And this is the proof of this. So the proof is a little tricky here. We chose gx such that q into gx is d by dx of y gx. With this, if you see my y is simple, right? y into this is equal to this. So I chose this guy as my format first. And then I found the value of gx. Little little tricky, but try to understand this. I have this equation. Then I chose gx in such a way that q into gx, which was coming like here, was d by dx of y into gx. The reason why I chose this, the moment I chose this equation, because if I chose this equation, this equation is true, I have some value of gx derived from this, then I can find y very easily. y into gx is equal to integration of q e to the power integration of p dot dx the whole thing is integrated so let's solve some questions on this so we have to solve using the first linear differential equation so you can see that this guy is of form dy by dx plus p by is equal to q right so p is equal to 3 and q is equal to e to the power minus 2x if we know is nothing but e to the power integration of p dot dx that is e to the power integration of 3 dot dx correct this is what you got i now my solution is y into if is integration of q into if the whole thing dot dx plus c. So let's put this y into i that is e to the power 3x. Correct. Is equal to integration of q. What is the value of q? e to the power minus 2x. i f e to the power 3x dot dx plus c. That is integration of e to the power x plus c. Sorry, dx dot dx plus c. 
and that is nothing but it is the power x plus c. Correct. So what I got is y e to the power 3x is equal to e to the power x plus c or y is nothing but e to the power minus 2x plus c into e to the power minus 3x and that will be answer. So not a difficult question, you just have to find the value of if. Once you have the value of if, you can put this value of if and this equation y into i is equal to q i f dx plus c. Let's take one example dy by dx plus pi by x is equal to x square. So if you compare this guy with this equation dy by dx plus p into y is equal to q, you get p is equal to 1 by x and q as 1 q as x square. Correct? That's what you get. Now I have to find if e to the power integration of p dot dx that is e to the power integration of 1 by x dx that is e to the power log x that is x. I got if as x. My solution is y into if is equal to q into if the whole thing integrates with dx plus some constant. Put the value y into if is x, right? Is equal to q is x square into if is x dx plus c. This is x4 by 4 plus c. So I got y as x cube by 4 plus c by x. And that is my answer. Very simple. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.